What's up, everybody? It is your boy Everything TV, and so I'm coming at you with another banging video. And today we're going to be talking about best shiny odds and how to get the best odds while you're shiny hunting. It's worked for me, and uh, I'm going to show you pretty much how to increase your chances and pretty much doubling up on a shiny hunt on any Pokemon in the new Sword and Shield. Now I'm playing Shield, and uh, this pretty much is a two face double process of shiny hunting just to give you better odds of shiny hunting so now we're going to come here to meet this lady here which is at the nursery and the lady at the nursery is in fact the lady that is the breeder technically and this is going to go ahead and be on route 5 at the pokemon nursery you can ride your taxi here this requires a little bit more time to get going but once you're done you're going to go ahead and have way better odds in shiny hunting especially if you completed your 500 chain combo now, the first thing you're going to do is make sure that you have obviously no Pokemon there. We're going to grab our Ditto, take the Ditto out, which we were using to breed the Ponyta. Next, we're going to take the Ponyta. Actually, we were breeding the uh, Squabble. So we're going to take Sobble out. Bam, Sobble is gone. She's going to ask, how can I help you? Now, in this case, we're going to use Zigzagoon as the shiny Pokemon that we are hunting. We already have our 500 encounters, which you can check out on the Pokédex. So now we're going to leave one male Zigzagoon. You're going to give her the male Zigzagoon right here. All right, there we go. You're going to select the male, give her the male. Now she's going to take the male Zigzagoon, which is going to cost you 500 Poke Dollars or whatever they call it in the game. Next thing we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and leave another Zigzagoon just for breeding purposes. Now you can use a female Zigzagoon, which will work just fine, but in this case, we have a Ditto that is a foreign Ditto, which increases your odds when breeding it to a normal Pokemon. Now we're going to leave another Pokemon, which is going to be a Ditto. Now, if you don't have a Ditto, you can might as well leave the uh, the female and the male together of the Zigzagoon, and that works. But your chances do not significantly increase more than when you leave the uh, woman Ditto there, or the foreign Ditto with the woman Zigzagoon, or male Zigzagoon for that matter, because Ditto is a non-sexist pokemon it has both sex so now we're going to ride around our bicycle and we're going to go ahead and keep riding back and forth up this route which is the musada if i'm correct method which we are going to go and she's going to have an egg for us bam so now we have an egg and that is going to end up in turn being a zigzagoon egg so now we have a zigzagoon egg we're going to go ahead and fill up the rest of our slots first of all let's clear up some space on our slots and we're going to go ahead and get this out of the way we're going to get these two Pokemon out of the way. Here we go. We're going to get rid of our Score Bunny. And we're going to go ahead and get rid of this Zigzagoon because we don't need it because we're using the uh, Shiny or the um, Foreign Ditto. So, fam, we get rid of Foreign Ditto. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to keep, you know, get, get a whole bunch of eggs pretty much essentially is what you want to do. You want to just stack up on eggs and bam! Zigzagoon is tagging up Ditto, giving Ditto all those eggs. So, bam, here we go, guys. Got another egg. Bam, another egg. So, now we're going to keep going until we have max slots on the eggs. So, with about probably 10 seconds or so, she should have another egg. Because, you know, Zigzagoon and Ditto are some savages. They love to make babies. Well, pretty much Ditto is a savage. Whatever you want to call it. Either way, it works fine for us. We're not biased here. So, we're going to keep going until she's ready to have another egg. And probably sometimes it's different. If you have the oval charm, which you get from the director, you can increase your shiny production by tenfold, which is pretty good. So there we go. Oh, she actually doesn't have another egg. Okay, well, it looks like Ditto might be lacking right now. So we're going to keep going. We're going to go a little bit farther. And now we're going to come back. Hopefully the eggs don't hatch, because I pretty much want to show you guys the process that I've been using to get the shiny Pokemon. And she's still not ready. I wonder what's going on. <laughs> Let's make sure everything's fine. We have two eggs in our in our lot. So pretty much what we're going to do here is we're going to get one more egg. And I'm going to show you. You can do this, obviously, with weaker mons. And you're going to pretty much just stack up on eggs. You want to make sure you stack up on eggs. Okay, there she goes. Ditto had to take his time real quick. You're going to click on her. And she's going to give you another egg. And we're going to take it. Okay, so pretty much now, the odds for this getting a shiny Zigzagoon in this hunt are 1 and 600. So we're going to go back to our route. Now, you can use any route that Zigzagoon spawn. We're going to choose 
the uh, Moto Stroke on Route 3. So we're going to go here. We're going to taxi. Make sure you have taxi to make things a little bit easier. But if you're at this point of the game where you can breed, you should have the uh, flying taxi method. So we're going to go here. Now we're going to go on this Zigazoon route right here. Now normally you want to do this with at least five out of six mines. You want to have five eggs. So here we go. We have Zigazoon spawning here. And pretty much what you want to do to increase your odds, we are doubling it up, guys. We're pretty much shiny hunting with eggs, which give you a 1 in 600 chance of it being a shiny with a ditto. And we're pretty much going ahead and using the Zigzoon as well because we have our 500 combo. Now pretty much you just keep knocking them out or you can run from them. Pretty much it's up in the air what works and what doesn't work. But we're going to go ahead and knock this Zigzoon out. And pretty much you just keep going. You keep knocking these out. We're going to run from this one because we already have it. So we're going to run. So pretty much you just keep going and you knock that one out and you just keep going to Zigzoons. And bam, you're just going to keep doing that. And while you're chasing these down, looking for these Zigzoon to be shiny as well, you are going to be hatching eggs. So that doubles your odds, guys. That gives you, honestly, the best odds. If you have your 500 combo, 25 knockout streak, and if you have your eggs, it gives you the best odds to find a shiny because you're doubling it up, guys. You're freaking trying to hunt down this shiny Pokemon with your 500 knockout combo and your 25 or your 25 knockout combo and your 500 battle combo and you're going to be doing the shiny egg as well so that doubles up your combo so pretty much you're going to be looking for these shinies and you're trying to hatch eggs at the same time so that pretty much triples your combo guys that triples your combo right there and this can work for any pokemon as long as it is in the wild and you have the sh the um eggs and you have the ditto or if you have the male and the female you can go ahead and breed these guys this works with any Pokemon, like I said, and it's honestly, in my personal opinion, gives you the best odds of catching this Pokemon as a shiny. So there we go. Then we got that shiny. That's we got this shiny Zigzagoon here, which is an amazing shiny. It is honestly a very beautiful shiny. And like I said, this works with Rokidi, any shiny you can find that spawns in the wild and that you can hatch eggs from. So there we go. We got the uh, Zigzagoon, and none of those are shiny. So then you hatch your eggs. Example, normally. Within 5 or 10 minutes of you hunting down these zigzagoons, the eggs will hatch. So you run from it or knock it out, whatever you believe. It's pretty much based on what you believe. And now you're going to just pretty much try to hunt your eggs. Now normally, like I said, while you're battling, the eggs will hatch. And here we go. We're going to have a, a zigzagoon, hopefully shiny. Probably not, but it increases your odds. If you're going to shiny hunt, you might as well double up your odds, which makes the most sense. So there you go. Now you're doubling it up, guys. You're trying to get shiny mons. From hunting and shiny mons from as well as hunting shiny egg hunting and hunting them down by knocking them out or chaining them so there you go guys so that is your best way to get a shiny pokemon and sword and shield this doubles your odds we're gonna call this the Lou method so there you go guys make sure you double up on your eggs and here we go i'm gonna show you the beautiful shiny zigazoon using the method that i've done which is the best method guys make sure you drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel and share the video guys and let me know down below what your luck has been shiny hunting give this a try guys it is your boy everything tv and some and we are out of here guys see you later peace